All right, we took our photos. We are ready to complete our listing. Here we are on our phones in Consign Cloud. You just open your browser window, you select your consigner, and you add the photos in that you've previously taken and remove the background on. So let's, for our first one, we're gonna select those Cole Haan shoes. Our consigner is in there. I used myself for the example as the consigner. I just put a dummy price in there and save the item. Then we go on to our next one and we do the same thing. Consigner is in there and you can easily switch the consigner and you can add in details. And here we go, we're gonna add in the second pair which is the Nike Women's um, Court Vision shoes select those photos and you will see they are loading into consign cloud categorizing them by consigner and they are assigned a SKU. and there you have it you can see the SKU in there you can look at the item there it is entered so what what i do is i start the listing on my phone if you haven't caught the last video you can go ahead and check that out molly actually completes her listings on the phone i like to be on my laptop so i'm going to show you guys that so i had imported my listings into consign cloud using my phone so they're catalogs by consigner and I'm going to share my screen here so you can see a little bit about what I'm talking about and what that looks like in here. I have the inventory screen. Okay, so you can see the two items I added. I'm batched two pair of shoes. So I'm going to open up these. You can see it's assigned. I put it as myself as the consigner. So it automatically does all the calculations on consigner percentages, expiration dates. You have all that set up. It's a beautiful thing. Again, we use consign cloud and we do start the listings on our phone because we're all about streamlining and keeping things as simple as possible. All right, so we're going to click those three dots. We're going to go into edit and I'm going to put the details in there of these shoes. Okay, so they are 10 and Kohan and you can look at keywording. Uh, different people do listings different ways. I'm going to put the style number. Oh, I'm going to put Kohan men's. They are GC modern perforated sneaker gray suede we can put our um, upc in there any additional details these are new and um, have your scale ready you can put the shipping weight in there and you'll see why later in the process it makes it much easier this is one of the things i changed and i am so happy i did Gray suede, let's say lace up. And the color is actually called pavement. So in case anybody is looking for that specific detail, they can find it. Um, here's something I'm gonna show you guys. And I did this in another video as well. This is a trick I have. I mostly use it with collectibles, but if you click on uh, the picture, let's say you have a batch of collectibles and you kind of want some quick and dirty information, you can search that image with Google Lens and it will pop up here mm -hmm. on the sidebar and give you um, some ideas of pricing and what you might be looking at uh, if you're not certain. I do happen to have the information on these right in front of me, but that is still helpful. And then if you wanna click on one of these, get additional information, do some additional research, Go ahead, by all means, do that. Okay, we're going to put the price in. And I'm going to put the tag in, men's shoes. And this might vary depending on how you have your online store set up. All right, so I'm going to categorize it into men's shoes. I'm going to paste the description there and you can have this build the description and the title for you. I just prefer to do it myself. And the size, it will build the title from all these details. I think Samantha uses the title builder uh, for sorting with Samantha. So if you want to check out her video, go ahead and do that. And I'm going to click the button that says list on Shopify that automatically sends this to our Shopify store. 
um, we have quantity of one. We do a lot of multi quantities, but this particular one, we're going to do quantity of one. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do the next item. And here we have the Nike shoes. Let me keep this in front of me so I can get the style details off of the box. And you can see all the photos are in there. And these are an eight um, Nike women's, Nike court, women's court vision, mid sneaker, face up and uh, with Nikes, I always put the um, style code and look that up. I'll spare you guys the details of watching me look all that up, but I will put in all those additional details as well. The more information, the better, um, especially with sneakers, style codes are great. Um, having the UPC in there is also wonderful. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys this again. Let's see what it comes up with our Google Lens search. All right, there it actually came up with them. Just gives you a quick and dirty look at pricing and what they are going for now. Okay, so I'm actually going to do these at 49. And we're going to go through these are women's. Nike black and eight is the size. They are consignment and automatically fills that in the expiration date set on your parameters and we are going to list it on Shopify. So it's automatically going to go to Shopify, which means it goes to our website. It goes uh, into our Facebook catalog and I'm going to show you guys all of that in the next segment, which is going to be Shopify and how to how to get that basics of that set up, why we use it and where it goes. So um, stay tuned. I will link that up. If you have any questions, go ahead, drop that in. But this is probably the most important part where you put your details in and all the information you need that is cataloged by consigner. So you don't have to do all of that calculating and all of that behind the scenes work and worry about expirations and barcodes and all of that stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye.